hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is purity yes so welcome to my channel please remember to like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and today we are making this beautiful top and this is how the back looks and the front looks like this remember the last video we made this cut and now we made a top for it making it a beautiful set this is how the top looks it has some flowers at the front and the back looks like this and so let's get started with the tutorial I am using butterfly yarn and this is thin yarn so I will double the yarn to get the medium weight effect if you have medium weight yarn that is perfect a 2.5 mm hook we will use this to crochet the bra caps of our top a 3.5 mm hook we will use it to crochet the ribbing at the waist area a pair of scissors a darning needle stitch markers and a tape measure this is all you need for the project and as I said, we are using a 3.5 mm hook to crochet the ribbing at the waist area. And I doubled my yarn to get the medium weight effect. Now we will start to make the ribbing at the waist area. And to do that, first you'll make a slip knot like that. Then you'll chain 20 chains. We want our ribbing much longer, so make 20 chains. If you want thin ribbing you can make 15 but for medium make 20 chains i am done with my 20 chains and this is how it looks so i am adding two more chains one two and skip the two chains one two go to the third chain and we are working with half double crochets across all the chains that you did do half double crochets and i'll meet you at the end of this first row of our ribbing I am done and this is how my work looks to begin row two chain two turn your work and we are working with half double crochets on the back loop only so go to the back of your garment like that and we are working half double crochets at the back loop only across all the stitches that you have and remember to get your perfect ribbing take your under bust measurements minus four inches okay under bust measurements minus four inches for me mine is 28 inches 28 inches minus four meaning i will work like this up to 24 inches okay and remember we are working with half double crochets at the back loop only so finish up on row one and i'll meet you when we begin row two Done in row two, and this is how it looks. To begin a new row, you will chain two, turn your work, and we are still working with half double crochets at the back loop 
only and remember to always begin from the first stitch and we will work like this until you get to your under bust measurements minus four inches so as for me i'm working with half double crochets at the back back loop only until i get to 24 inches Okay, I'm done with my work, but I worked up to 20 inches. When I stretch my work, it reaches 24. Kindly, when you work, always remember to stretch your work. Do not overstretch your work until you get to your original measurement. So as I was planning, I, I will work to 24 inches, but I, if I stretch my work, it stretches to 24 inches. So as you work, you keep stretching your work until you get to the measurement that you want, okay? And now we want to start working at the spaces. We'll have spaces at the ribbing here. These spaces will be used for adjustments of the bands that will run from our shoulder area all the way to the back. So to do that, you'll first chain four, okay? And then you will skip three stitches and then the fourth stitch here you will make a double crochet that is our first space okay chain two again yarn over skip three on the fourth one you'll go in and make a double crochet that is our second space okay chain two one two yarn over count three on the fourth one you'll go in and make a double crochet chain two yarn over and on this last stitch we'll go in and make a double crochet and that's how we make the spaces at the end of our waist bands okay once you're done making the spaces we'll go in and do edging in each space that we made and we're just going in with four single crochets in each space that we made okay just go in with four single crochets like the way i'm doing in each space that we made and i'll meet you once you're done with the edging okay and this is how we do it
this is how your work should look and now we'll go in with single crochets all around our ribbing so we'll just go in and do single crochets all round once you're done with this you and get to the other side you'll do the same same spaces then finish up by doing single crochets all round i started doing the spacer from this side and i did single crochets on this other side so do that and i'll meet you once you're done so we'll start working on the bra cups done and this is how my work looks and now we want to work on our bra cups and this is one of the bra cups i made it off camera but i'll show you how it's made it's it's width is five inches and the length is six inches so to get your bra cups measurement take your under bust to nipple measurements and then you will do chains so sorry i'm using different yarn but it's just that i lost those videos so i had to make another bra cup using another yarn so to begin you'll chain two that is how we make a slip knot and then we are chaining 15 remember 15 is my measurement from my under bust to my nipple area so that depends on how big your um your boobs are so take your measurements from your underbust to nipple then chain that long okay so i am doing 15 chains i'm done with my 15 chains i've chained two more chains making it 17 then skip the first two chains that you added go on the third chain and make half double crochets and you're making half double crochets across all the chains that you have and i'll meet you at the end of this first row done and this is how my work looks and remember on the bra cups we are using a 2.5 mm hook okay so once you're done with your 15 half double crochets to begin a new row you will chain two turn your work and we are doing half double crochets beginning from this first stitch here and we are working with half double crochets until you get to the top and i'll meet you at the top so we can do our first increase Okay, we are at the top here and we are we will do our first increase so go to this top stitch here there's a stitch here and do the first half double crochet go in the same same space do a second double crochet in the same space and then you will chain one 
yarn over go in the same space and do a third double crochet and a fourth double crochet in the same space that is our increase and then you'll continue doing half double crochets on this other side until you get to the bottom so that is how we'll be doing increases on each row okay that's how we form the bra cup shape so finish up with the half double crochets and i'll meet you at the bottom of this row I am done and now to begin row 2 we will chain 2 1 2 turn your work and we are always working from this first stitch and we are doing half double crochets until you get to the top of our work and remember when you get to the top of our work we will do four double crochets in one stitch so you'll start with two chain one then two so as for now we are just doing half double crochets and i'll meet you at the top of our work so that we do our second increase i am at the top of my work and remember when you get to the tip here there's a tip here we are making um an increase which is the first half double crochet this is the second half double crochet in the same space then you chain one then go in the same same space and do a third half double crochet then finish up by another half double crochet in the same space meaning that is four half double crochets in the one space at the tip okay once you're done with that <coughs> sorry you will continue with normal half double crochets until the bottom so that is the pattern and you're going to work like that until you feel your bra cups is comfortable enough on you okay so i will meet you once you are done with such a bra cup okay this is my bra cup and it looks like this and now we want to work on the band and to work on the band i decided to use a big hook which is a 5.5 .5 mm hook and once you get to the tip here we'll just do two increases first after we've done the first two increases, do not go on the other side. Once you're done with your two increases, which is two half double crochets in one stitch, you'll immediately start working on the band, okay? And to work on the band, I chained a hundred chains. So I'm hoping that is clear. And I am done with the a hundred chains. And I went back using single crochets just to make them thick. And once you get to this other side here, you'll now complete the increase by doing the two half double crochets. Okay, remember we did two, then did the band. So once you come back with single crochets across all the 100 stitches, you'll finish up by doing the two half double crochets at the tip then continue with the pattern which is half double crochet and please remember to uh, use the 2.5 mm hook when you're using sorry when you are making the bra cup but on the band you can use the 5.5 .5 mm hook so that is how we make the bra cup and i'm just winding up on this last row then you'll be done with your first bra cup and go ahead and make the second bra cup and i'll meet you once we are joining the bra cup to the waist band
okay i'm done with my second bra cups and now we want to join everything together so you'll have to find the middle of your garment so you'll take your bra cups and put it at the middle of your band this is best when you have the band on your body then you just put stitch markers on each boob so just find a way to put the bra cups to the band and make sure they are well adjusted so i just placed the band and one of the bra cups on my body and that's how i knew the perfect place to put the bra cups on the band and we are using a darning needle to join together we are just joining them together on the band and i used a darning needle to sew them in so as i said the best way to know where to position your bra cups on the band is to have the band on your body and the bra cups on your body then you will use your stitch markers to know where you are putting the bra cups and once you're done that way you will use a darning needle to just sew in the bra cup to the band okay i'm really hoping you understand this so do that and i'll meet you once you're done I am done stitching the bra cups to the band and once you're done cut off the yarn and fasten your work make sure it's tight enough and all the loose yarns will be stitched in or sew in using your darning needle okay and this is how we work on this top just make sure your work is tight enough so that it doesn't run so this is how your top should look that is the out inside part and the outside part should look like this okay so sew in all these loose yarns and then you will place in the bands remember the bands that run from the shoulder all the way to the back you'll place them in in a uh, crossway or any other way that you like these are just adjusting bands they'll help us adjust our top and make sure it fits well to your body so you can just put them in any way that you like i love the crisscross way and that's what i did to mine so this is how we make this cool top once you have the crisscross in, we'll go ahead and make the flowers at the top, at the front of our top. And then we will be done making our bralette top. so i've made some flowers off camera but i'll show you how i did the rest of the flowers i'm just using my leftover yarn and now i'm making the green flower i've made orange and yellow and to make the flower you'll have to leave a a long tail hanging around at the end and make a slip knot and this is how i make a slip knot this is the long tail that we use to stitch in the flowers and then you'll chain three on the third stitch yarn over and come back to the first stitch here this stitch here and make a 
double crochet and make another double crochet in that first stitch that we made and you can see it has made a small magic ring here then you will chain two and make a slip stitch in that same same first stitch okay so now we have a big magic ring then you chain two yarn over go in that ring make the first double crochet yarn over make the second double crochet then chain two and make a slip stitch okay that is how we make our second flower and now to do the third flower chain two go in that magic ring of ours make the first double crochet the second double crochet once you're done with the second double crochet you'll chain two and make a slip stitch like that then you will chain two make the first double crochet the second double crochet chain two and make a slip stitch so that's how we make a flower and we make five of them okay so you make five of these flowers and once you're done you'll cut off your yarn and fasten off so i'm making the fifth flower right now So once you're done, you'll cut off your yarn. And then fasten off. And this long tail that we used, it's used to make sure our work is tight and this magic ring disappears. When you pull the long tail, it will fasten our work and make sure the small magic ring is tight enough and becomes small so that is how we make the flower and we will go in and stitch it in our garment So you'll go in and arrange the flowers in any way that you like and then using your darning needle you'll just stitch in the flowers like this take your darning needle using the long tail that you left hanging and go ahead and just stitch in the flowers in and out in and out of each flower and then once you're done, you will fasten off your work.
so i am done and this is how my work looks the flowers are well attached and this is the inside part the inside part looks like this and to complete uh stitching in your flowers fasten off by making rounds all around the stitches that you did like this just to make sure your flowers are well attached okay so once you're done you'll fasten off and put a knot at the end okay I'm done and this is how my top looks the flowers are well stitched in and everything looks beautiful and this is how the top looks on me thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe to my channel leave a comment and i'll see you in my next project goodbye